hi friends welcome and welcome back to the business and aspiring business owners corner my name is Tumi, and i am a small business owner i own a small candle so this video i'm talking from experience okay <laughs> let's get started with today's video because you're here to learn all about starting or thinking about starting a candle business in south africa in this video we are going to be talking about starting a candle business in south africa we'll be chatting about how to start run and grow a candle business if you're interested or thought about starting one get your pen and paper and let's get started so you can take notes or you can simply click on the like button so that it can bring up the video again or you can subscribe just to encourage me and say hey we're here so that i can keep making the business videos the first thing that you need to do or the first step is to decide what kind of candles you are going to make so are you going to make household candles or are you going to make decorative candles once you've decided that's going to help you choose what kind of materials you are going to need or you are going to buy so for the everyday household candles you're looking at using paraffin wax which is more affordable and easier to use but there's issues with environmental issues saying that there's toxins and all of that but we've survived this long and then there's also beeswax there's also soy wax which you might be familiar with which is good for the jar candles and also the mold molded candles and so by household i mean this this candle or are you going to make special candles like for ones for sinuses for health purposes and all of that for the everyday candle you're looking at putting in about 70,000 from the start. That 70,000 is going to be for wax. It's going to be money for buying the mold machine, the melting tank, the wicks, which is the thread, the scent if you're going to do scented, the colors if you're going to do different colors. So you're looking at minimum 70,000. For the molded candles, you can really start that business with little money. Even 500 rand, you can get molds online. You can buy a small packet of wax. You can still use paraffin wax or you can use soy wax. I recommend using paraffin wax uh, or even using palm wax or another type of wax because I found that with uh, molded candles, if you burn, if you use uh, soy, to make the molds, I found that they don't burn well. Like if I show you this mold, like it literally burned in a second. Like it just went down and burned in a second. So it burns very fast, but they are very good for the jar uh, ones. So even with the jars, you can start small, the scented jar candles, you can start small, start with soy wax, couple of uh, jars, um, and the the wicks and uh, the the scent, so that doesn't take up too much money at least to start. So after you've decided on what type of candles, you need to decide on the shape and the sizes of the candles and the designs as well. I already showed you the mold candles. Um, we already touched a bit on the jar candles and the everyday candles. So after you decide that, because it's going to this size with mold, if you buy bigger molds, obviously you're going to have to charge more, you know? Or if you're going to make them unscented, you might charge less because you're not using scent. And if you do jars, are you going to do small jars or are you going to do big jars or are you going to do even smaller jars for things like events and all of those things. So that's something to think about as well. Another type of candles is also tea lights which uh, can be used for events or for hotels and such places. Is it going to be taper candles? Are they going to be smooth candles for dinner uh, table candles? 
so do your research on different types of candles i'll try and put a list here or different pictures so that you can see and get an idea so that you can make the decision on which size and type you are looking to get into step two is to understand and anticipate the amount of work that is going to go into making candles or starting a candle business the first and the most important of course is production this includes preparing mixing heating the ingredients to make the candle wax and also adding colors and scents that's a lot of work you need to choose containers and then the packaging and then comes the marketing and the advertising that's all the work like some of the work that goes into making candles and then you need to prepare codes you need to be taking orders and handling payments and also shipping or couriers on top of selling those candles to other people so there's sales there's marketing there's advertising and all of those that i've mentioned that all goes into making a business it's not just about uh making the candle and then taking nice pictures and posting them on um, instagram facebook or tiktok there is more to running a business step three is deciding on which of the different ways you want to run a business and sell your candles so are you going to open a candle shop are you going to sell your candles through already existing shops and businesses are you going to set up a website and sell your candles through your website or are you going to use platforms, selling platforms such as Take A Lot, uh, Amazon, because now it's in South Africa. So you need to think about that. Are you going to advertise and market and sell on social media? There's uh, ways that you can sell on Instagram and on Facebook. Are you going to just use WhatsApp and sell via WhatsApp after advertising on social media? That's something to think about. Are you going to sell at markets or local events like craft fairs, market stalls, Christmas events and so forth? And that is thinking about the equipment that you're going to use. We're going into the little bit more detail with this one. So you need to put the costs down of what you're going to need to run the business. If I forgot any equipment that you're going to need, feel free to let me know in the comments. First things first, you're going to need wax. So you need to look at prices for different types of waxes. Then you're going to need your measuring cups to measure the amount of wax and the fragrance that you use in your candles. And then you will need a thermometer because you need to melt wax at a certain temperature. Even when you're pouring, you need to pour it when it's a certain temperature. If you pour it when it's too hot or you pour it when it's not hot enough or you know it can make bubbles it can do sinkholes it, it can get frustrating so you need a thermometer you need things to stir your wax uh, you can use wooden spoons but i prefer to use metal ones like a spatula or a big spoon to just kind of mix the candles when i'm putting in the different colors or i'm putting in um, a different scent in the candle of course you need candle molds if you're going to be making different types of candles if you're making the shape ones you need to buy candle molds you can buy candle molds on Shein. you can buy candle molds in south africa but there's different types of candle molds there's ones that are made from silicon there's ones that are made from uh, metal so there's all sorts you can also buy them from sa candle supply now none of these people are actually endorsing me i'm just letting you know where you can find the candle molds and wax in some cases you need a pouring jug made from metal preferably that you're going to use to take the wax and pour into um into your molds you need glue if you're going to be doing jars and you need the wick to be centered so you need either a heat gun some of the uh, wicks come with a thing that you can press on and then it sticks onto the bottom but you might also need to get uh, a wick center you just put it in the centering thing and then you press it down. I don't feel like the centering thing is a need if you can look at where the center of the candle is It doesn't have to be like a hundred percent accurate in the middle 
but you can uh, get a glue gun or get ones that come in a packet that come with the glue that you excuse me that you just pick up and put on and then you need to with the jars as well and with the mold candles um, like in order to make this one you need um, the centering thing so you can put it at the top you can even use pegs I use pegs sometimes you just need something to hold the wick in place while um, the candle is still cooling you need a scale to weigh your wax and also to weigh your fragrances so that you can see the amount of fragrance that you put in is it strong is it weak uh, so that you can know for next time how much to put in so it's not a guessing thing all the time you need a weakened needle if you're going to be using molds uh, for this type of candles because those molds are silicon so you need something to punch it through and then pull the wick so for me I use a crochet hook I just put it punch it in hook it, and then put it through so you can use that alternatively you also need a wig trimmer if you have very strong scissors you can use that I don't feel like it's a must it's cute and it trims well but scissors strong scissors can do that also you need a heat gun get a heat gun this is so if there's irregularities on the candle the candle doesn't look right you can just use a heat gun to heat that part that doesn't look right or if it has sink holes you just need to reheat it melt it and then it's going to dry and look much better um, so that's going to help you need a heat gun step five is marketing and advertising your business so after you've made the products you need to decide on how you're going to market and advertise your business so for this type of candles that are more commercial and can uh, or are needed or are used every day the best way is obviously to go to through wholesalers or sell in bulk to people um, and if you're going to do the mold stuff you can sell the candles on social media you can sell the candles you can advertise on social media you can sell the candles on take a lot or other platforms this ones you can also sell on online platforms but obviously bulk works better if it's something that is a bit more on the affordable side than the more expensive ones that um, you know are not for everyday use so your advertising and your marketing is going to depend on which candles or what kind of candles you decide to make I hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for those that are joining and liking and subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it I will see you in the next video sorry I said people are distracting me I'll see you in the next video and this is me out and I'm going to make a video about advertising your uh, Kindle business so subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out thank you